all developers so hope you are doing well now in this video series we will learn how to set up firebase as a backend now firstly go to browser and type console.firebase now we will need to create an app inside this simply click on add a project here is a project name you will say it uh, share this is application in country region we will be going to refer for India okay and simply press create project Continue. Now we have different section. Just simply press on Add Firebase to your Android application. This says press your Android package name. Just simply go to your project and its manifest and just simply copy this package name. Okay. Now I move to browser and type a package name as app nickname you will say any nickname you just refer the same name here share this is application then option field just skip register app so whenever you add a firebase services we need to add a json file to our project it defines how many services of firebase you are using just simply press and download google services This is save file. Continue. Now it has mentioned some oh, yeah. steps like you need to write down this project level build.gradle. You just simply go and copy this line. We need to paste in on our main gradle. Okay. Password. Now, no need to add this line, just simply copy this line and add it to bottom. Now, try to sync your project. Now, after successful syncing the project, you have noticed that there are some errors. As I already mentioned, that we need this Google Play Services file. Just go to browser and check for its path. Copy this file. and paste it to your app so simply press ctrl v copy now we have added you will need to rebuild our project again now all the errors are gone so just go to browser there are different services provided by Firebase. So we are currently using a database. There are two databases, one is real-time database and Cloud File Store. So we are using Cloud File Store for our application. Just simply press get started. There are two modes to create a fire store these are for security reason for web development we will just simply say start in test mode okay we say enable
now there are something which you need to be aware about how this file store data are stored if I refer to this see here firstly this collection acts like an folder okay with a folder name is a collection inside that folder we have different types of files and these files are called document okay and each document contains some data inside a collection this is the flow how we will how data is stored in fire store so firstly it say add a collection we simply press add a collection we will save a collection name as app query Now it say type a document ID. I will say it If you have worked on any backend application, then you already noticed that if you have bunch of similar data, you will pass it inside an array. So how we create an array in Firestore database is just simply press on add field and we need there are different types data types supported in Firebase backend are like string numbers boolean object array null timestamp and zero point so we require an array we will say our main array as contents um, now my array will contain a object okay because whenever you notice in our application we have this type of info first is a text here so how did we differentiate that it is a text or image so we need to define every information in backend firstly we will say it as an object now we will define property of our object Firstly, we will say it a content. Now we will say it a plus, and we see what is the type of content. Okay, now for just simply we will say this is a simple text. I will define three variable like one for text, two for video, and three for image. Okay, just simply say add. Now you have noticed that we have an array of different objects and objects are content and content type so that's it we have set up our backend now we need to access this data in our application thanks for watching the video stay tuned for next updates